But first, educate yourself with this quick tip from Lincoln Tech. The angle of a driveline is very important in the transfer of torque from the transmission to the rear differential. You see, the improper angle of the drive shaft and or U-joints can result in worn U-joints and an extreme case of the shakes, which turns any hot rod into a headache. Take a look. Here are a few tips for measuring not just the driveline angle of your hot rod, but also the U-joint angle. A four-post lift is ideal in this situation because we need the car sitting at ride height on a flat, level surface. This Kent Moore inclinometer eliminates the guesswork and math because it sticks right to the cap of the U-joint. And after we align the bubble level, gives us the exact angle of the drive line. This is with the transmission yoke perpendicular to the drive shaft. Now, turn it 90 degrees so that the yoke is parallel to the drive shaft and the inclinometer tells us the angle of the U-joint. Typically, you want the drive line to rotate with a three to four degree operating angle. This is the angle of the entire length of the drive line from the output shaft of the transmission to the input shaft of the rear differential. U joints are happiest when turning between five to eight degrees. Lincoln Tech can teach you how to have a career working with cars. See lincolntech.edu.